Bnei Israel have a custom to say more Tehillim on these days. Throughout Rosh Hashanah, the Baal HaTanya was busy with either his Machzor or with his Tehillim. The Briskarav Zatzal also used every spare moment of Rosh Hashanah to say Tehillim. There's a Segula to say the entire Tehillim twice on the first night of Rosh Hashanah. Many people did the Segula and saw miracles. The Magid, Reb Ben Sion, Yadler, gathered a group of all the Bachurim on the night of Rosh Hashanah, and they said the entire Tehillim twice. All of them got engaged right after. The Zenaskan in Eretz Israel who had two boys and a girl in Shiduchim, and nothing was working. They didn't even hear any offers. They did the Segula and the three were engaged that year. There was a younger man that he said that his wife suffered from an illness and every few weeks she was hospitalized. One year he heard about the Segula and he did it and she never returned to the hospital for that illness again. Another person who had the privilege of marrying all of his children, but he had three couples who didn't have any children. The father heard of the Segula, to say the Tehillim, and he did it. One Rosh Hashanah, he did the Segula of saying the entire Tehillim two times on Rosh Hashanah night. That year, all three couples were blessed with a child. Unbelievable stories. There's many stories of salvation with this special Segula. Obviously, this is a very hard Segula to do. It's not something easy and it's not even advised for everyone to do. Because if someone keeps this custom and it will prevent him from being awake by the tefillot, it's probably even better to refrain from doing that. It's more important to pray with kavanah. So if a person could handle, he does it. But if a person cannot handle and he won't be concentrating in the tefillot, then he cannot do it. However, even if one cannot say the entire tehillim twice, a person should say some Tehillim or Rosh Hashanah night as much as he can. Another idea is good for a family to divide the Tehillim between themselves. So that way they could say the entire Tehillim twice jointly all together. They have in the bookstores Tehillim Mechulak. You give it between your families and twice you can finish the book within half an hour or 45 minutes. You can finish the Tehillim um, two times. The Emek HaMelech writes the following story. There was in a village near Leport, there lived over there a simple person who only knew Tanakh. He was Niftar at an old age, and 30 days after he passed away, he came to the Chacham and the Tzadik of the city in a dream, holding an old Tehillim. The Chacham asked him, aren't you the person that just passed away? He said, yes, it is I, he said. What's that sefer under your arm? The rabbi told him. It's a tehillim. And I came to tell you to warn the people of the town where I lived that they should escape. When I was alive, I said the entire tehillim daily. The Shalaz version is that he did the entire tehillim uh, the whole week. He said, I did the entire tehillim either daily or weekly. I did this for many, many years. And my tehillim, he told the rabbi in a dream, protected the entire town. Can you imagine when you say Tehillim, you could, you don't know what kind of protection you're bringing on yourself and all Klal Israel. But now they don't have this protection anymore because this man is not alive anymore. In the morning, the Chacham told the people of that town about the dream. Those who escaped survived and those who remained did not make it. The Emek HaMelech says from that day, my father heard the story, he would say the entire Tehillim each week. He got so inspired from that story that he says Tehillim every week, the whole Tehillim. Because whoever says Tehillim regularly saves himself, his family, and his generation from all kind of sorrows. He brings down bounty, he brings down Berachot, and he brings down Hatzacha. Fortunate is the person who is Zuche Umezake Tarabim, who does good for himself and for others as well. The Normal Melech writes something very interesting. 
He said, some people ask, how can I, how can a tzaddik pray for a person that's not feeling well and the sick person becomes better? So the answer is that the man is connected to all the worlds. When a person sins, chas v'shalom, he becomes detached from his connection above. And the result is that he becomes, chas v'shalom, not well. When the tzaddik prays, he reconnects the person to his source, to where he was before. So automatically he becomes healed. However, sometimes the tzaddik tefillah does not help chas v'shalom because there's a kitrug, there's a prosecuting angel in heaven who prevents the person from becoming reconnected to the source in heaven because of his sins. So when this happens, he needs to become attached to the olam hagadol, hanikrat tehilam. This great world is called tehilah. It has a name. Tehilah is the name. Because that world is only a, a very amazing light in the mekatregim, which means the prosecuting angels are not able to get in his way in this place. In that world, there's only compassion, rachamim gemurim, and everything is fixed. This is the reason David Amelech's songs are called Tehillim. Because with them, by saying the words of Tehillim, a person can accomplish everything. When a person says Tehillim, he becomes attached to the world of compassion called Tehillah, as we mentioned. And there's no Satan there, and there are no problems there. These amazing words give us a glimpse at the wonders of Tehillim. When we say Tehillim, we're being connected to a place where there's only compassion, only Rachamim. Therefore, with Tehillim, we can attain all our needs, Bezat Hashem. Hashem should bless us to have a Shana Tova, El Khatima Tova, and Besarot Tovot. For all Klal Israel, Bezat Hashem, may we merit to be in the time of the Mashiach, Berachamim Rabim, without any suffering. Amen.